Does Vlad need a moment with Dr. Wolf? I burned that shit to the ground! <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, I come, so I just come back and hopefully with the set of luck that I wish. <laughs> that was perfect. Just cracks a cold one. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. I need the flowers in order to charge. The cherry bombs are always useful. Actually, I'm going to... Okay, these are much more affordable, or at least they grow faster. These are useful. Oh, I definitely need the fucking lily pads because we're at a goddamn pool. Use the tall nuts. Also, also yeah, the, the tall remake nuts. The Zootopia. Oh, fuck off. Live action remake. No, just give us a sequel to Zootopia, man. Just, just... Also, uh, also, I'm just, also, I just want to say real quick, I'm not saying fuck off to that one Kalisa. I'm saying fuck off to the idea of a live action remake of Zootopia. Agreed. That wouldn't work! Because the thing, because the thing that made Zootopia is that there were... Primates didn't... It's just Shakira in a fursuit that... Shit. Also, seeing with the fucking con artist koala that everyone makes out to a guy at some point. I need to... Come on, I need to... Give a... me your son! Thank you. Give me your son. Fucking hell. God, I barely have a goddamn minute to set everything up. We've already got a zombie on the way. His arm is off. That's progress. And we have another one. Nice. At least it's in the same row. I think you mean knees duts, Darth Revan. Also, great, great name. Yep. One Everyone true step forward. I mean, everyone else, with the exception of Ellie, I think, calls him Raven. <laughs> or has called him Raven at some point. And I was like, no. Revan. It's Revan. It's the Revan. greatest Jedi Sith to ever exist. Force wielder to ever exist. Bar none. Hmm. <laughs> that one co- I'm... Is it that one co That one co you... Vlad, do you need a lozenge after this stream? Actually, no. Because of years of spending son of a fucking bitch okay you know what fuck you here eat cherries fuckers sorry i'm after gonna go ahead of... you're fine after after years of spending time uh in theater either as a very loud character or just being loud in general because that's my whole you know that's my niche. You know, Golden Fox is the is the retro analyst. Key Frames got the good art. A and Y is a drunk German. I'm loud and fucking loud. That's about it. That's my niche. <laughs> damn, Lightning damn. Bliss is short. I'm just gonna go ahead and stay distant. She's not here, so <laughs> I'm just, she's not here. So she can hear you in the fucking distance. Also, I can tell her what you said. Bold of you to assume. Bold of you to assume that I fear death. <laughs> oh shit! The scuba diver ones are coming. Yep, I can see that. Scuba diver. You know, I get all these fucking sunflowers that are barely showing much of any suns. Hurry up! I got one coming. <laughs> Jesus. They're Dude. doing their best to produce your fucking sunlight. Yeah. Go easy on it, man. Hurry up, hurry up, oh, Jesus. Don't you realize that photosynthesis takes a long time? Someone you motherfucker. That was... Again, general... Okay. I'll try again. <laughs> What's up, Logic? What, what, what you got? What you got? What you got? So somebody, somebody mentioned how fucking Grievous, as in General Grievous, is a Jedi wannabe cyborg, and I'm just like, how Son did Grievous bitch. end up the Son way of he a was? Bitch. There's a... I remember that there was like a like a non-canon reason and now there's a canon reason and I I wasn't able to keep up with either of them. Oh. I just remember that he beat the shit out of Kit Fisto's uh Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But he also has one of the greatest right. lines in the history of Star Wars which is a fine addition to my collection and then he suffers from black lung. Best line in the movie. Best best moment in the movie. Yeah, 
The game's frustrating. Well, yeah. I'm not ready for the wave yet! Fuck! These guys are coming in and I have to, like, set up immediately. Jesus. You're delivering so many easy jokes to my doorstep, dog. <laughs> It was weird. Earlier I was watching a YouTube video where a slaughterhouse killed pigs for the meat. Yeah, that shit was disturbing. Uh, apparently what? according to the- What? I was reading, reacting to what you just said. Oh no, I was reading- I was reading what a- what a chatter said. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. but apparently according to the FDA, like, I think it's like- Like, three and four, like, slaughterhouse worker marriages are in shambles. No! Wrong fucking spot! Damn it! Hopefully <sighs> these guys will do their fucking job. <laughs> yeah, fuck these guys. They ain't doing enough. Come on, grow faster. Pay me my money. Give me some money, bitch. <laughs> Gravis was made a cyborg by Duke. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do believe that that's the, uh, the, the actual canon answer. So what was Grievous before, then? I'm pretty sure he was, like, a, like, like a very, like, incredible warrior in his own right. Hmm. Come on, finish him off! Oh, oh my god. I don't know what made him such an evil bastard. <laughs> Unless he already was evil on top of being a warrior. I think he's pretty ruthless because of the environment he grew up in Son on his uh, on his planet. Hey, bitch. Ah. Um, now I gotta regrow that. Jerry Beam. So between Danny Phantom versus Jake Long in the next death battle, my bits on Jake Long because he's a dragon. Well, Danny Phantom is also part might... ghost. Yeah, I'd have to say. Oh, sorry. No, you go ahead, Logic. In my experience with Dance Battle, the winner always ends up being who the people who make the show prefer. Yeah, hey, uh, they always go by a vote. I think that... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I I'm think that... Fan of I think that it's gonna be Danny simply because, like, how do you fight something that can become incorporeal? Wait for it to become corporeal And not to again. mention that Danny Phantom can also breathe ice. And he could just go inside Jake and, like, become, like, corporeal inside of Jake. It's like it's like anybody trying to fight Martian Manhunter if Martian Manhunter was actually trying to kill you. There's a reason why Superman is afraid of fighting him. Yep, yep, yep. It's because that it's because John Jones could literally just go inside Superman and rip him apart from the inside out. Exactly. Danny can do the exact same thing. Yeah, it's 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 it, like, I don't know how this they're gonna Son make a this a, a, a fair fight. It was like when they did the fight between Aang and uh, Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Hurry up! Uh, magical stars, explain what that word means. Motherfucker. Incorporeal is basically a term used to represent ghost life. There. Yeah, it's like, uh, are they, are they solid and can they interact with matter or are they like, do they face through objects that otherwise would be solid? Exactly. Also, yeah, Darth actually also made a good point, too. Danny also has the ghostly whale. Which yeah, that... that... Which amounts to Danny. Would that be, like, his last-ditch effort attack? Because of how much it drains him in the process. My ghostly whale. No. Dang it. Now. There. I am fucking struggling. I am so. Jake not may not be controlled this. by Danny. Only weak-minded people can be controlled by ghosts in the Danny Phantom universe. That's not the point I'm trying to make. I'm making the point that he can just go inside of him, become solid, and rip Jake from the inside out, literally expanding him like a balloon. Yeah. It's like it. That's always confused me. How does that actually work for something incorporeal to suddenly become corporeal and therefore take up space? You obviously have never then, studied like, how the spiritual that... world works, Logic. One more sun, one more sun. Come no, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice observation. <sighs> Fuck, point, it's still um, charging. There. The point I'm going with is that, I mean, 
how would okay. that actually work for something that isn't physical to suddenly become physical? Like if a man was incorporeal and then suddenly God became incorporeal in a wall, does he replace the wall? Or does the okay. wall end up inside him? Okay, explain that logic. Um no, no, no. God damn it. I think he's looking for more of a... I think he's, I think no! he's looking for more of a scientific answer, kind of like how Death Battle does it. I would say it like this. Turn on, it's, still it's, fucking loading. It's mostly... If you took, like... If you took, say, a grenade and you put it inside of a wall, mm -hmm. the grenade would explode outwards and destroy the wall, but that's because it has a large, you know, a large explosion radius and it's pointy... It's pushing a lot of force outwards. But if you took, say, like... What are one of those things? Like one of those spring-loaded like stabs and put it inside of a burger patty. And you mm -hmm. clicked it on, it would push the meat and the bone away, basically exploding it because of how much space uh. is it's trying to accommodate something else that's inside of you. Essentially, it's like if you took a solid like a solid thing, put it inside of another organic object, like force feeding a like force feeding Garfield a bunch of lasagna day in and day out, he would eventually explode because his body mass is no longer able to accommodate the sheer amount of mass that has accumulated inside of him. Same thing with something that's incorporeal. If you just shoved it inside of, say, like if you took one person who's invisible, like incorporeal, and they stood inside of somebody, like curled up, and then just turned corporeal and thrust their arms out, it would essentially be like that, just much quicker and much more violent. It would be less slow, torturous of overfeeding somebody until their stomach explodes, and more just instantly ripping their internal structure apart. Huh. I'm gonna also add, like, there's also the idea of the, like, they have connections to energy. Human bodies are capable of producing a type of energy that the spiritual world can connect to. And that's why ghosts have the capability of possessing a body because they go in to possess the actual energy that they need to, have, to be able to. No, I'm not talking about one's ability to possess a body. I'm looking more spe okay. So I'm gonna yeah, try, it's, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and make it so that it's almost too specific to possibly misconstrue or look at from a different angle. So I have two people. One is corporeal and therefore occupying physical space, and the other is uh, sure no, both done that. in exactly the same position and exactly the same pose. They both weigh the same, and their dimensions are basically identical. If the incorporeal one suddenly becomes corporeal, what replaces what? Or do they just exist in some kind of state of super existence where, I don't know, physics ends up fucking in yourism? Yeah, and like, hence the reason why I double entirely. Yeah, the re hence the reason why I equated it to just the mass doubling in an instant and essentially just ripping whichever one is on like top, I guess you could say. Okay. Simba versus Kimba. That's like that's Someone like. Someone fucking get it. You had to mention that. <laughs> you had to mention that stupid fucking controversy. That's like that's like taking. That's like taking a golden retriever and putting it up against a golden retriever in white paint. We're skipping Simba vs. Gimba. We're skipping it. I'm going back to... So... So that's what I'm getting from this. So the idea, as you're presenting it to me, is when the incorporeal one takes form again, it starts at the center and goes outward. Yeah, and rapid expansion. Outward. Okay. Yeah, rapid expansion. It's essentially just explode. Just, haha, -ha, I've stuck helium inside of you and turned it on, and now you're just rapidly expanding faster than your cells can divide and expand to accommodate it. Okay. Honestly, that sounds like a... That, that on, sounds like a horrifying fucking death. Fucking damn it. Mm. That like sounds it, like something I'd envisioned Pennywise would use. <laughs> that's something I would envision Jigsaw using, like... Oh God! That's, that's fucking doing horrible. Jigsaw doing some kind of quantum destabilizing thing and then just exploding people. That's hor. That yeah. would be horrifying. I mean the the lasers from uh, the last Saw movie, the like laser callers. 